Tonight we're going to be looking at Hack the Box again, another Windows machine in the Zephyr track. And I'm going to be looking at the machine Heist. This is an easy machine which features some credential disclosure, some interesting process enumeration. So we'll get right into it. Tonight we'll be looking at Heist and we've launched our machine. So I'm just going to make a directory for it. And as usual, start with an end map. And what else? We want the bows. And we'll just check if we are alive. Good. All right, let's run this. Sorry, I did this drop. I'm back. My internet's shocking today. All right, so we have port 80. Dang it, stay there. Port 80, port 135, which is RPC, and 445. All right, so. Let's do a targeted scan. So again, nmap, and this time we'll go port 80. 135 and 445 and then we want to scan everything so we need sudo for that and output that to targeted cool all right so we have, if I can scroll, port 80. So we've got HTTP, we've got an IIS, HTTP 10, that's pretty up to date. Support login page. So the dash A does a complete um, scan, tries to enumerate the operating system. It does your default scripts and version detection. So it just kind of tries to get as much information off the target as possible. And the reason why we run it as a targeted scan is that we won't, don't want to do that to every single port if they're not open. There's no point and it just slows us down. So, so yeah, that's what we've got. So we have a login page, PHP, Windows RPC, and then 445 here, which is SMB. So it's guessing it's a Windows 2019. This message signing enabled but not required. Cool. All right. So what we can do here is we can kind of enumerate a little bit more about this machine using crack map map exec and this will give us a little bit more of a picture of like what's on the machine what's it running So we have a Windows 10 build 17763. The domain is support desk. As we knew, signing is disabled. Welcome Barney of the Rubble. Good to see you. All right, 
we'll try to authenticate a null session. See if that's enabled. Do not like where that was. This is interesting. Hey, we 254. We are doing quite fine. All right. Well, let's let's enumerate the website. So we have a login page. Let's see if we find anything interesting in the inspector. in as a guest so we might try that this is oh that just goes back to the page oh this is interesting so we have hazard hi i've been experiencing problems with my cisco router here's a part of the configuration the previous admin has been using i'm new to this and i don't know how to fix this sad face Support admin says, hi, thanks for posting the issue. We provide fast support and help. Let me take a look and get back to you. Thanks a lot. Also, please create an account for me on the Windows server as I need to access the files. I feel like that could be a clue. All right, so what was the thing? Cisco router. So Cisco routers would save their configuration in a file like everything that's kind of entered into the system it saves it servers password encryption blah 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 alright so we have a password hash here a username router and a password here and admin and password here do we have anything else Network. That is it. All right, so let's, what this is, is a Cisco password seven, type seven. Yeah, he should have used secret because these are Cisco passwords. That's correct. So what we'll do is we'll look up a Cisco seven. Try one of these. We'll see if we can do this. So we'll copy that in there. All right, so we have a password here. Let's nope, that is incorrect. We got super password. What else have we got? Gibberish. And this, which is, I'm guessing, is an MD5. 
hash. So we'll make, we'll need to um, crack it. All right, so we've got two passwords. What we should do now is also make a users because we might need to brute force. So we got admin, router, and hazard because he said that he wanted an account on the Windows server. So we have a chance there to actually get in using that account. All right. All right, so we got, we'll try to crack it with John. Here we go. Word this. Share word this. Rock you. Yes. John used to never do this to me. But it always does this now. Where it just kind of... No, it's just telling me that I need to tell it what format it's in. I just don't want to. I want to just like plug and play. Um... because it's so fiddly. Because is it this one? Pix MD5? I don't think so. Let's just... Morning. That would be cool. That would be an awesome, creating that kind of website would be awesome. Cause I think people would actually use it quite a lot, especially if you get into like places that um, don't get pen tested that often. We want a MD5. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I can't remember exactly. Is it 500? Really? Okay. Dash. Cat dash. M. 500. Wordless. And Rocky. And then the hash. Dash. Oh. What is going on? My computer's going insane. Oh, no, that's normal apparently. This is odd. identifier 
Is that like a website thing? Do people use that? If I could spell hash ID. That's true. The kitties would like to click the plus one button. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know why it's telling me that the hash file is formatted differently because like rock you is a pretty standard file. I don't know. I don't know what it's expecting from me. Just have a look. John Ripper. That's what I wanted. All right. So we'll just um, and then. Share word list, rock you, and then what's the next thing that needs to get on there? Hash. That's a lie. I'm doing something wrong here.
Yeah, it does. But that's just like the boring way to do it, you know? I know what type of hash it is. That's not my problem. My problem is that for some reason these stupid tools aren't working. <laughs> They're not doing what I want them to do. It's just frustrating because I like did this the other night <laughs> and it worked. So I don't know why it's not, it's not doing it for me. What am I doing wrong? Because it's saying no hash, no password hash is loaded, which is a lie. Could I just do this? What? Maybe it's not the right one. Maybe it's not MD5. Yeah, well, now I'm second guessing my stupidity. MD5 crypt? That's probably what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I thought the format. No, I want this one. MD5 crypt, but without the dash. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just did have the right one. There you go. Lesson learned. I was wrong. <laughs> I think I even... I. I think I know, what did I, I noticed it when I was looking at one of these, I think it was this one.
the hash was like looking weird compared to ours. Yeah, that's what the hash looked like. It was just like a string of letters and numbers and I was like, that doesn't look right. I know that that's, that's different. So that's MD5 crypt. All right, so we got it. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Stealth agent one. Stealth one agent is another password. So we'll copy that into our passwords. Cool. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. All right. So now what we can do is we can try brute forcing SMB and see what we can get. So what I'll do is we'll go crack map exec. We want to do users dash p passwords. And then because CME stops after being successful, we'll add the continue on success flag. Cool. All right. So we've brute forced it. We don't have any with these, but for hazard, stealth one agent works. So I'll make a new one that's valid creds. Hazard and try to do is we'll try to list some shares SMB client hazard percent Still, we could just copy that in still there host is unreachable that's not good this is weird oh <laughs> thanks thanks I would never have, I wouldn't have looked at that one forty nine. Cool. There we go. So we have admin C and IPC. So we'll see if we can.
So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to see if I can enumerate using RPC client. Let's copy this. Disconnected. Yeah, so for Windows, you can do that. I don't know exactly why, but apparently the percent symbol is a good way to delineate between a username and a password. I'm pretty sure in like some Linux systems you can do the colon. So we want to look up the SID, which is a security identifier. Where is it? Literally just saw it. Ah, oh, here we go. Look up SID. Ah, oh, here we go. Look up names. Look up names. Cousin. There we go. So we've got an SID. So basically, this here is the SID code. Then we have the actual machine code. So this won't change, but this here, this is the RID, which I can't remember what stands for. Don't you hate ads? I hate ads. So security identifier and then blah, blah, blah. Random information. Where's RID? Nothing on RID. Why did you? Uh, okay, yeah, so RID is that number at the end, the relative identifier, that's what it's called. There we go. Okay, cool. Yes, thank you, Joan Cena, too. I like that username, I like it. So, yeah, so this here is the RID, the relative identifier, relative to the user. So, we can look up names 
administrator, and it should be 500. So just like in Linux systems that they have like on your password file, your Etsy password file, you'll have like root is one always. And then you have all your service accounts and then you have your user and your users usually start at 1000. It's the same thing with Windows. I guess this is kind of the equivalent to that, this RID. So we're gonna brute force this two ways. We're gonna use this manual way here and then we're gonna use a script that will brute force us. So, and the reason why we're doing this is then we can, if we copy this, and we go look up SIDS, that, that will give us the user. So then what we can do is 09. So now we have another user support. Nothing, nothing. Nope. We have Chase. We have Jason. Gonna go up to 19, see if we got anything else. Yep. Cool. Alright, so we have found Jason, Chase, and support. We'll add them to the user file. this and what we'll do now is we will do this we'll use lookup sids sid.py then it's support desk has it still of one agent and then the IP address. I think this is like, so lookup SID is a part of the impacket tools. So this will do a brute force and basically do the same thing as what we did. So we've got a couple of like service accounts here, we've got guest, hazard, support, chase and Jason, which is what we, found so what we can do as well is i'll add we'll add the administrator account just in case we have anything interesting in there and then we will run uh, that again and see if we can enumerate any more user. We got two there. All right, so we've got hazard as we knew before, and now we have chase. So let's copy this over. Have you had any more problems with the stream? Nothing been dropping out? How's it been going at your end? Great.
All right. So now that we have Chase, we're going to try to enumerate him a little bit more. So what we'll do is we will Zach SMB. That's incorrect. So we don't have a parent here, which means we probably can't log in with it. We can try when rm remote management. Okay, so we have pwned here, which means we can use evil when rm, which is awesome. So you have two files in the desktop. We want to so we have stuff to do. Keep checking the issues list, fix the router config and what's done. Restricted access for guest user. All right. And we want to type the user.txt. Glad we can share this moment stream. And with that, we have the user Fi flag. I was going to say file, but flag. That's what we have. Cool. All right. So now what we want to do is do a little bit of system enumeration, make sure we know what we're able to do. Chase, obviously, where am I? Slash all. Users. Mm. 
Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to use system info. Alright, so let's see. back into users and see if we missed anything. So we have hazard chase in public. See so into hazard. Permission denied. Um, so at this point we don't really have anything massive. Go to a program. So we have standard Windows things. And we have Firefox. Which is interesting because all of these are installed roughly around the same time. We have a VMware that's not, and we have Firefox. Where is it? Yeah, Firefox and VMware. Everything else is rather around the 2018, 2019 time frame. Interesting here. We need to use the proc dump tool. So let's see if Firefox is running. And we have Firefox running here. So what we'll need to use is the proc dump tool, which will dump the process and help us to retrieve some stuff. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to download the sys internal tool. the right one? Sure. <laughs> Alright, we'll extract all of this into Hello Smokey McGruff. Welcome. 
Cool. All right. So we will be using 64. Where are you? This place is right. Wait, what am I doing? About to try to upload that into the wrong folder. Um, I want to CD back into users chase downloads. Interesting. And then we go proc dump. So now we will run this, but we need to get the process ID, Firefox. Park dump 64.exe. Accept EULA. So it won't run without the accept EULA. Dash MA. What does that mean again? Do I need to. There we go. Okay. Jeez, that was quick. Um, dash MA. What was that again? Yeah, write a full dump. That's what dash ma means. That's not the right page. All right, so now we will download. Wait. So now we're getting the file from the Windows machine. So we've created a compute complete dump of it and putting it on our Linux machine. Let's see if it's, that's why it's here. All right. So we'll just, because it's huge, see if we can find some credentials actually let's try to just do strings and see Ugh. Nothing too interesting in that way, but let's let's 
see if we can find some passwords. Eastern time zone is, is definitely big enough. You guys have a huge coast that side. login.php sounds familiar login username admin at support hp log in password and then this i think passwords Let's see if we can add that find anything else nothing that's standing out we'll just try that then administrator and because we have that we can try doing this that is not what I want So this way we can we could log into this two ways. What happened to the rest of my tabs? <gasps> Close them all. Oh, I think I may have closed them when I, I accidentally pressed control shift X and it just <laughs> killed them all. That's all right. Didn't need them anyways. Nope. That's not the one we wanted. Weevil. Weevil. Evil. Winner M. Dash I. 10.10.149. Ten dot, ten dot, ten dot, dash U. Ministry. Probably just copy this. Boom. Where am I? Administrator. Desk top. Unless at root dot text. There we go. 
And we got the root flag. 